Hello YouTube, this is our tutorials and welcome to uh, the Cinema 4D lighting guide and uh, in this guide I'll be, sh I'll be teaching you guys the basics of uh, advanced lighting and realistic lighting. So what realistic lighting is, it's basically like uh, the lighting that you see in real life. If you see a light bulb lighting on the table and uh, you see objects, you see shadows of the objects and um, different shades of the objects and if you don't have that in a 3D program then uh, everything's just gonna look amateur and nothing's gonna look really that good without good lighting so it's like uh, if you create something that looks really nice um, it's gonna be two times better with lighting or uh, the other way around it's gonna be really bad without lighting so it, lighting is like 50% of all the work that you do in Cinema 4D so uh, open up Cinema 4D and um, create a plane or actually no create a uh, floor so click on floor and go to MoGraph, Mode Text and create a plane so go to objects menu here and create a plane select plane then increase the size of the plane and drag it over the text a little bit higher and uh, create a new material I'll click on the materials tab and double click on the new material and uh, uh, select luminance in the material and don't touch anything no, not brightness, not color and drag this over the plane okay uh, now select the text and just you know just so it's in the center and what the reason we need the text is because we want to see how the shades work and everything how it looks on the text on the objects in general <laughs> so uh, now if we render this let me just center the camera here if we render this, uh, it's not gonna look that good because this plane, it's not doing much work. It's not really lighting up the scene as it should be. And if you uh, go back to the material, if we double click on it, and the reason I added luminance is because uh, lum luminance it means to illuminate, to uh, create light, and uh, that's what uh, that's what the bright objects such as the sun or the light bulbs and things like that they illuminate uh, they produce light so um, right now it's not acting as a illuminator because it's not lighting up the scene much so um, the key ingredient here is to go to edit render settings then go to effect and select global illumination then go to iridense catch and uh, actually this is an extra step to uh, decrease the amount of render time so go to iridense catch, stochastic samples low and record density low we, I just do that so that it doesn't take as much to render the projects but it's up to you anyways uh, now we added global illumination and if I render this so it already looks much better than it used to but it still does not have really good uh, shadows if I if we zoom in on the text and if we render this like right here where the text touches the floor it does not well it has kind of a little bit of a shadow but uh, I don't know it just it's supposed to look a little bit different it's supposed to have a dark shading here where it gets close to the floor and uh, to do that you go to edit render settings again and click on effect again and select ambient occlusion and this is a key in ingredient for um, for the for the shadows and to make this look better increase the minimum samples to 60 
or 70 and the maximum samples to about um, 110 but be careful with this uh, the more you put it up the more time it takes to render and uh, the more powerful computer you will need so now let's exit out of this and let's render this again okay so now as you can see there is a little a uh, little bit more of shadows and more shades things like that it looks even better than it used to so if I zoom out and if I zoom out far enough that I can see the plane and if I render this some people might like to have this plane up here um, but in, not in all cases do you want to see this plane up here when you render uh, your project because sometimes it just looks too random so uh, to make it invisible right click on the plane in the objects menu uh, go to cinema 4d tags and click on compositing and here uh, deselect receive shadows and deselect scene by camera and if we render this again then uh, the plane will be invisible so that's just a tip from me to you and it's very useful so that's pretty much it for this part of the guide in the next part I will probably be showing you guys how to create uh, how to create a gradient uh, background and that will be pretty cool too so stay tuned for that it's gonna be coming next week hopefully if everything goes to plan so yeah thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please like like the video and if you like my videos then please subscribe and see you guys later